Hello everybody, it is Turtle Master Flex here, and I am showing you guys S.Cash today, Satoshi Cash. What this is, is this is a completely decentralized, community-driven Bitcoin on CPUs. There is no one person controlling it, there is no dev fee, no pre-mine. It is a completely open source Bitcoin reborn on CPUs as it should have been from the start, where everyone can take part no matter what you've got. Everyone's got a CPU. So the main site, s.cash, is where you can get started to see all the main information and documentation. Uh, I would recommend viewing documentation, give all that a read, and anything else here that gives you an interest. On here it shows the Twitter. I will mention that this right away. The official Twitter here, s.cash network, is more for development side of things. This is run by the OG dev. He posts updates for like technical updates and stuff like that. With, with of course this thing being community driven, one of our community members, Brian, he's also one of the moderators on the Discord, uh, he has created the Scash community Twitter. This is more for general like crypto things where he posts news and more information about Scash, introducing people, uh, of course other people's reviews like Bokiko we've that's what the community is supposed to do we we really all work together to continue to grow this coin um right now there's two two miners available srb miner and cpu miner the official cpu miner with the official cpu miner you can solo mine straight to your node the tutorials here is on mining on windows and the docs with that you can do that with srb you cannot um, so do take that into mind. CPU miner official has no fee. It's only about five to ten percent slower than SRB, give or take, on certain situations. For some people, it seems like the reason why is because SRB is closed source, where this is open source. So the improvements here can't be taken advantage of elsewhere. Um, you know, it's reasonable things. That's why there's also no dev fee, it's all open source, so it can be modified and improved on if someone with some experience comes along. Um, you do need to use msys2. All this is in the tutorial for how to mine for this for Windows. Just letting you guys know if you're familiar with that. Since we've started, there's only one mining pool, and even regardless of this, we're already number five on hash rate for random algorithm. Um, all random variants. We've Currently, the pool that's running is our plant, so we've been growing with our plant as our pool. Um, to sum up things that are coming in, I'm sure there's going to be some questions asked, because there's always questions asked in the Discord also. Uh, the DAA change here at block 21,000, when the pool had launched, the hash rate spiked from about 2 to 5 mega hash to 25 mega hash, and so yeah, you can see block rate went from regular 144 to 1,900, 1,500. The Bitcoin difficulty adjustment algorithm, DAA, adjusts every 2,016 blocks. It did its best and tried to catch up, but it caught up just in time for people to leave and because they got like, they got used to this and they complained about the slower blog times. And so when that happened, it dropped below 144 blocks a day, and this caused more people to leave and complain because of slow transactions, which of course is a completely understandable issue, especially for miners and getting rewards. You can see one of the worst days was 21 blocks a day. So at block 21,000 is, that's actually coincidental, 21, 21,000. Um, at block 21,000, the DAA is changing from the Bitcoin DAA to the Bitcoin Cash DAA. Uh, right now, we're pretty close to the next regular, well, actually the final Bitcoin difficulty adjustment before that swap at 20,160. So we're only 26 blocks away right now. Um, after that, we should see blocks for 24 hours jump back up to 144 blocks, and it'll be about six days until t block 21,000 if we stay at a consistent 144 blocks. Of course, that could go up or down. It just varies. We'll see. After that, though, it won't be a problem. It'll always be about 10 minutes a block. Uh, I want to show you guys hash rates and earnings. So at current, let's see, 15.95 mega hash. I rounded it up to 16 mega hash. With my CPU at 11.9 kilo hash, I'm 0.744% of the network. 
0 0.744 percent of 144 blocks a day on a standard regular difficulty speed would be 0 0.107 so right now we're at like 120 so if i change that to 123 it looks like i have a 0 0.09 so that what that means is that if you take that number you take one divided by this number that gives you how many days it'll take you to find a block so it looks like at this current time it would take me around 11 days to find a block whereas at full speed it would be closer to i believe oops it'll be closer to nine yeah 9.33 so that 50 divided by this is 0.5 or 5.35 scash a day from 11.9 kilohash and currently there are two exchanges there's finance x which listed it first and then xbitron that came in right after uh, most of the volume and coin volume is on xbitron here uh, you can see most of the actual like coins values here on finance x there just is not enough liquidity um, it could get completely bought out just a couple hundred dollars it looks like um, whereas expert runs not like that uh, like I said it's completely open source and community driven so in terms of adding more exchanges in the future continuing to grow it just takes joining the discord and continuing to grow with us and sending in applications there is a, I did submit I'm like I said my name's turtle master flex I'm the community admin of the discord here um, what I did is I submitted a trade over application just a couple days ago and I've heard a couple other coins are also waiting to hear back so we'll see um, so long as we qualify we'll see Satoshi cast listed on its third exchange trade ogre just a matter of time all we're waiting on next honestly is the next mining pool mining four people said that they are working on integration it's just taking them a little bit with the custom code especially with their pool back end they've been working on some overhauls so once they're up, we'll have two pools running, get some true decentralization going. I would recommend definitely, if you have enough hash rate, I will show you quickly how to do the calculations. If you can mine solo to your own node, do it. Let me show you. So percentagecalculator.net. Say you have, let's say you have 150 kill hash. And the network is what, 16 meg hash? So 16,000, you are 0.937%. We can do that, divided by 144 blocks a day, or not divided by, what is that percent of 144 blocks a day? That's 1.34, I shouldn't have done that. 1.349 blocks a day out of 150 kilohash at 16 megahash full speed. So use this site and do the math for what you can earn. Say you earn less, so say it's 50 kilohash, you only got that much hash rate, you earn 4.45 blocks a day, and you wanna figure out, well, what is, how long is that gonna take me? You take, one divided by 0.45 so 2.22 days worth of mining to get a block at 50 kill hash at 144 blocks and if you want to find out how many coins that is you just take 50 times 0.45 22.5 coins a day off of 50 kill hash if you have any questions you guys need any help at all join the discord i'll be there to help the community's there to help and Let's continue to grow this coin together. Good luck and happy mining, you guys.